Wasn't that haunted house scary, Stoper's fettuccine Alfredo? Nah, not really. I ain't Alfredo. No ghosts, if you get what I'm saying. Today, I will be reviewing Stoper's fettuccine Alfredo. So it's, uh, you know, fancy mac and cheese when you get down to it. But freshly made pasta, I question the freshly at this point. But freshly made pasta in a creamy Alfredo sauce. So it's, it, I think it is basically just fancy mac and cheese. Uh, it's got a lot of calories though. 640 calories. 47% for total fat, 70% for saturated fat. A little fatty. 20% for cholesterol, 42% for sodium, 21% for carbs, 18 grams of protein. So it's a little fatty, but other than that, it's not too bad. Now, the cooking instructions are quite easy. Cut film to vent, cook for five minutes on high. Let's stand one minute. So like six minutes, pretty easy. It looks very simple. Okay, now for the big reveal. What's it gonna look like? White. It's, it's like a creamy white. All the cheese is on the right side though. Or I guess the left, I don't know. Camera, mirroring, whatever. All the cheese is on one side. And all the, uh... Pasta's on the other. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything bad. They don't have a stir phase in here, so it's gonna turn out how it turns out. I'm gonna go cook this up, be back in, you know, seven minutes, whatever. I have returned with the food. So, how do I angle this? You know what? So this here is the result. Um, it is like half cheese on this side and then the pasta on the other side. A little weird. I don't think the box said to do any stirring or anything, but we're gonna have to stir. It, you might also be able to see that it burnt around the edges here. I did it for five minutes, but maybe that was too, too much. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna stir this around. Weird that that happened. Probably gonna have to stir. I have a feeling this would have been better had uh, it been better mixed before I cooked it or if I had paused in between and mixed it, but it is what it is. All right, we mixed it up. It's now uh, better mixed. It looks similar to the box, about the same, I'd say. It does have a, a little bit of a strange smell. I think it does, from what I can recall of last time I had uh, Alfredo sauce, it does smell like that, but it, it, it seems like it's a little zestier or something, maybe. I don't know. It's got a little, little something there that, uh, but anyway, looks good. It's probably very hot. I'm going to take a bite. Okay, so it's pretty good. I'm going to say that the, uh, so the pasta are, it's like these long strips and they're all covered in cheese and the cheese is quite watery. It's not so watery that it's dripping everywhere, but it is pretty watery. It does taste sort of like uh, normal mac and cheese, but it's uh, it's got a little bit of the um, Alfredo taste. The cheese, despite being a little watery, is uh, pretty rich. Yeah, I think maybe there's ever so much of a hint of like almost a tangy taste or smell. That's probably the, the strange thing I was I was getting. But overall, it's not bad. Yeah, it does. It reminds me very much of normal mac and cheese. It, is, it does still have more of an Alfredo taste, and it's also not those little, uh, uh, whatever the normal mac and cheese macaroni is called. It's the, the strip things. Overall, though, I don't know what else to say about it. I think it's pretty good. It's just macaroni. It's, it's just uh, pasta strips covered in Alfredo sauce. The pasta is fine, normal pasta. It's not particularly doughy or anything, uh, nor is it, like hard and tough. It's just kind of normal pasta. The Alfredo sauce is just Alfredo sauce. The cheese is a little watery, but it's still got a rich, I, I know it's kind of, in my mind, creamy and watery don't like, don't really go together, but it's still a little creamy. It's just, you know, not uh, super viscous. I think I'm using viscous right there. Anyway, I don't think there's much else I can stretch out of this. The, uh, I guess the, these little spots, like, did I get one? 
whatever. The, the brown spots on the side where it was uh, a burnt, you don't really notice those that much, actually. It's not that bad. So overall, though, I think this is pretty nice. It is super basic, so there's that. But for what it is, I'm going to give Stouffer's Fettuccine Alfredo an 8 out of 10. I like it. It's nice. It, I, I don't know that it should really be compared to full microwave meals because it's basically a side dish, although it's a side dish with about as many calories as a main dish. It's pretty good. It does make me want to drink water, though. But yeah, it's just uh, long strips of pasta. Well, they're not that long. Strips of pasta covered in cheese. Oh. And uh, yeah, what else is there to say about it? Really, it's just it's just fancy mac and cheese. It's just mac and cheese, except the cheese is white instead of uh, yellow or orange. Take that as you will. Thank you for watching. See ya. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this outro, I want to apologize because this is a re-upload because I tried to upload it yesterday, but it didn't work. So if we go over here, we got this bit here that just didn't actually upload properly. If we go over to the rendered wasn't that mp4 just not it's gonna and, uh, uh, a little bit. It, it, like it's, it's fine moving there hopefully i don't know what the issue is uh, i removed it from here because i'm going to place this inside here instead in case you were wondering what i was talking about during this it was probably about the uh grocery store that's across the street from the apartment that i'm probably going to be moving to whenever my work gets around to moving so, it's connected to a laundromat that doesn't have a door. It's also got a, a no loitering sign with people loitering outside, but not just normal loitering. They've got suitcase and their stuff all, all are on the ground everywhere. So that's, uh, that's great. And they've got an, a coin-operated payphone. It, well, it looks like a coin-operated payphone, and there was somebody using it. But the whole surrounding area just didn't look great, and I wasn't really uh, excited to, to, to move there for work. That's about it, I guess. Thank you for watching. I'll try to make sure that this, this little thing here doesn't happen again. I, I do watch my videos before I upload them, but I don't typically watch them after I upload them. So that's how this got through. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. I would have tried to fix it last night, but I, I had to go to bed because I have work tomorrow and I'm, uh, or no, not tomorrow, today. I had work today. Thank you for watching. See ya.